Everybody got seat belts. <laughs> what up, dog? Busy guys getting some grub before work starts again. Super cute dog being hidden in between these two right now. Sometimes I see a mom and a dad and one or two or three kids on a motorcycle. I'm not exaggerating, but I think this is the first time that I've seen a dog in between a couple of people on a motorcycle. Pretty cute. How's it going YouTube? Today we're taking off to a place called Busai in the Philippines. It's a really beautiful area. Lots of mountains and a lot of green. A lot different than Cebu City where we are most of the time which is pretty crowded. A lot of high rises and buildings. It's really nice to get away to some fresh air and see some green which I think is always healing for the soul. You know, during this time in the Philippines, especially in 2020, it's been quite a challenging time. Of course, there's been the pandemic going on since uh, really March, everything kind of locked down here and became very difficult. Philippines is known as being the place in the world with the longest and most strict lockdown, literally for five, six months out of the year this year. I wasn't even able to leave where I live more than once every seven or 10 days. And during those times, it was just to go and get essentials like food and different supplies like that. So to be able to be out right now is still something of a privilege and feels really nice to have a bit more freedom. But in the Philippines, it, it wasn't just the pandemic that people were impacted by. There's been earthquakes, there's been multiple typhoons and even something called a super typhoon. I didn't even know there was such a thing, but in the Philippines, people have really struggled with some of the worst things that nature can put out there. Flooding, you name it. So right now, the worst we're experiencing is some low coronavirus uh, cases and uh, a little bit of bad weather today. Looks like it might sprinkle a bit. In the Philippines, even though this has been such a challenging year up to this point, Filipinos are amazing in how they deal with adversity and struggles. I know that with some of the younger people here today that that kind of thought of Filipinos being able to make it through adversity is, is, is something that they have mixed feelings about because they think they want to push past that and see everyone have a higher quality of life. But I think most Filipinos in general would feel that one of the things that really makes Filipinos uh, special or something that's really unique about them is the ability of them to be able to make it through even the most difficult times in life and I think that's something that Filipinos should be really proud of. You know, I look at my own country in the US this year and yes, we've dealt with the pandemic, but we really haven't dealt with it good at all. You know, I think a lot of Americans were polarized between do we wear masks or not wear masks? Do we stay inside and uh, do we social distance or do we not? A lot of debates about whether that's taking away people's freedom or not. In the Philippines, there was never those type of questions that was happening. People were just doing what they had to do to take care of each other, to take care of their families. And people were dealing with far more serious problems here than whether or not they were able to go outside anytime they wanted or whether or not they had to wear a mask. People here, literally millions of people, were struggling with how do we get enough rice to eat? I don't mean how do we get our next meal? I literally mean, how do we get enough of rice only to be able to feed ourselves, to feed our family? They had real problems here. But when I look at the way that Filipinos dealt with this on a whole, sure, nowhere's perfect, but it's amazing to me how well people dealt with things. Just having really positive attitudes, which not easy. I mean, I, I found even myself at times just being kind of a typical foreigner here complaining and struggling with things being so different. But it was really the Filipinos around me having such a great attitude that really made me think about how I need to grow up in some ways and to deal with adversity in a more positive way. So 
on our way up to Busai. We're gonna stop along the side of the road, get some snacks for some sorry sorry stores. Come along. <laughs> You gotta check out some of the jibneys here. These are local transportation that were really popular. They've been gone for months and months during the pandemic, but they're a lot of fun to look at. Pilani coconut, 30 pesos? Okay, we'll have one. Banana cube and one. So we got some Biko hiding in here. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna try it out. The cameraman's gonna tell me what this is all about. This is called Banana Cube, and this is amazing. Banana Cube, right? This one. It's made from this here. Very lame. Made with some azuko sugar, caramelized. It's really good. Try some. Super good, disappearing very quickly. Philippines that I'm gonna pronounce wrong called bung on and what it means is basically get back up and that's one of the things that you see here in the Philippines whether there's a typhoon whether there's a pandemic whether people are struggling to figure out how to find work whether their house has been flooded and the electricity is out and they have no way of getting help from anyone they still get back up really an amazing thing to watch here because I haven't ever had to experience the type of things that people here have gone through not just one time this year not just two times this year but many times this year I haven't always had it easy in my life I grew up without electricity and running water at an earlier stage in my life too but here people are able to go through far more difficult things month after month sometimes year after year and they're able to rise back up. One of my favorite uh, things that I saw during this uh, time this year was some photos of people that kind of were spreading like memes around the Philippines and they were of people that were impacted by the typhoons. And first I should say that it was so incredibly challenging for people that went through those times. There was video footage, just pure black darkness after these typhoons hit some areas in the Philippines and impacted thousands and thousands of people. And the video footage was just pure black because there was no electricity. And all you could hear is the cries of people who had lost their homes. Maybe some of them were on top of their roof hoping that the water didn't go any higher. Some of them had homes that were completely gone and they were just trying to find a piece of wood or something to hold on to in the water. We're talking about really devastating circumstances that hearing the cries, you probably still only get just, just a little feeling of how terrifying and how difficult it was for people to experience these things. But in the midst of all of that, these memes, these photos and videos that I'm talking about were of Filipinos that were, as the water receded playing basketball in the water. They were lying down in their homes, on the floor, watching TV, in the water. They were out there smiling and kicking the water and enjoying life in the water of the floods. It's an amazing thing not to just talk about a word like bang on, but to actually see it alive in Filipinos going through the most difficult of life circumstances.
another word in the Philippines that I learned recently called bayanihan. Basically what it means is coming together. It's an amazing thing here with Filipinos where they'll see that other people, not even necessarily blood relatives or people that they've ever met, but they're in need of help and they'll come together for a greater good to help each other out, to help each other get past difficult times in life. And we've seen that so much here as, as well in photos and in stories of people through typhoons, through earthquakes, through the pandemic, coming together to support each other and to make it through these very difficult times. Is it blown out though behind me or it's, it's okay? Tony Brock, so I don't know where in the world you're watching me from, but I, I'd love to know. So drop a comment below and tell me where you're watching this from. But wherever you are in the world, all of us as human beings I, I have been impacted by this pandemic this year. And I think that all of us can learn a lot from Filipino culture and the things that make them strong and resilient and able to make it through the most difficult times in life. We need to support each other more. You know, I looked to the U.S. this year so polarized and other countries that have had so many other struggles. And now isn't a time for us to pull away from each other. Now is the time for us to come together and to support each other and to learn from those who are able to weather the storms perhaps better than we are as well. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate your support. Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.